Good afternoon. My name is Benny Smith. Proud to have you listening to us here on 90.3 The Rock WUTK. And uh, that's exactly what your radio dials tuned to. And on TV, it's UTTV The Rock Unplugged that you can catch every Thursday, Saturday, Sunday night at 9 on channel 194 on the Comcast Digital Package, channel 65 on campus. What we do, we are so privileged to have so many cool bands and musicians come through from time to time and play Knoxville and when we're playing their music and they've got a new record out and they're playing at a sponsor's location, we sure like to grab them and bring them in studio and share them with our fine listeners with some live music. And that's exactly what we've done today. It's the Howland Brothers who are here in town. Hey guys, welcome to Knoxville. All right. Thanks so much for having us. We are very, very glad you're here and we appreciate you taking the time. Congratulations. Brand new record out. We're going to be talking about that on Ready Made Records. Appropriately enough, it is titled... Howl, and uh, congratulations on it, guys. Great record. Appreciate it. We're, we're enjoying playing big time, and that's what you've hit today. Yeah. Whatever, go ahead and introduce uh, yourselves, and while you're at it and you've got the mic, go ahead and introduce the first song and do one for us, fellas. Sure thing. It's uh, Ian Craft here. They also call me Papa Bear or Cotton Bell. Jared Green there on the acoustic guitar, and uh, Ben Plass here on the upright bass. Going to pick you this tune called Big Time right here. Right on. It's the Howlin' Brothers live on 90.3 The Rock, and The Rock Unplugged. Let her go, boys. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, the Howler Brothers, live on 90.3 The Rock, WTK. The brand new record is called Howl, right there for you. And uh, I believe that's the leadoff cut, am I right? Am I right? That's, one, that's, that's right, for yeah, those featuring, keep... uh, featuring Warren Haynes. All right. Uh, man from just, uh, just over the border, from Madison County, North Carolina, Warren, one of the best souls in rock and roll. That guy, if it gets any better, I don't know how it can. Amazing guy. He is just, the, and talent to boot. Uh, sure is. Just a wonderful, wonderful guy. Great job, fellas. Welcome to Knoxville. We're happy to have you Thank here. Thank you so much. It feels good to be back. Well, we're glad you're here. When you're dropping names like Matt Morlock when you come to town, then uh, I don't know if that's going to get you arrested or get you a cup of coffee, <laughs> maybe both. But uh, you guys definitely uh, a sound and a vibe and an approach that uh, that Matt and a lot of people from this area, including ourselves here at WDK, really appreciate and enjoy. 
But the cool part about it, I think, is the fact that none of you are really from this area where that music sort of, I say, came from or is indigenous to. Uh, But you guys kind of all met up in, is it Ithaca College? Is that right? That's right. Yeah, up there in uh, the Finger Lakes. Yep. Right Uh, at the bottom of uh, Cuga Lake. (laughs) Tell us, it's kind of funny because I guess you were all studying music at the time, but one of you was recording, am I right, a still drum record? Tell us about that. (laughs) Yeah, so uh, Jared uh, and Ben both were recording engineers in college. And I was a percussionist, and uh, my steel drum band, Panigma, <laughs> was recording <laughs> our uh, our breakout single record. It didn't go anywhere. I don't know why. But what's the but, deal? But Jared did a, a real good job recording it, and that's how we ended up meeting and uh, started hanging out and uh, exploring old time bluegrass tunes together. Uh, obviously, from steel drums to five string banjo and harmonica, and uh, uh, seems like uh, you guys have, have definitely hit something that you enjoy doing and and you really love. What, but did any of you grow up listening to anybody that, that made this type of music or even, you know, some old time mountain music like the Stanley Brothers, obviously, and, you know, I'm sure Doc Watson maybe throws in there somewhere, but yeah. who, who uh, you know, I guess what, Wisconsin, New York, and uh, Nova Massachusetts? Scotia. Yeah, Nova Scotia by way of Lexington, Mass. Yeah, yeah. 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 So what in the world were y'all listening to that I kind of got in your head and, and made you make this music along the way? Well, it's pretty different. I, for me, I didn't listen to a ton of stuff. It's kind of wild. Uh, you know, Led Zeppelin and, and rock and roll. I was into a lot of rock and roll. And, sure. And Jared, I know, up in Bayfield, he had the Big Top Chautauqua. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I, I heard bluegrass growing up. There's a string band up there. Got to actually study guitar with the guitar player up there. So. Oh, cool. Growing up, I, I got to hear bluegrass, and I loved it, and I didn't really dig into it till about my 20s. And right, right. I love bluegrass and old-time music. It will bite you and never let go. It yeah. will definitely do that, and it's done that today uh, with the Howlin' Brothers here in our studio live on 90.3 The Rock. Brand new record is called Howl. Well, tell us again, too, because it all kind of goes back to, I thought, you know, just two funny stories. Number one, your band kind of comes out of a steel drum session, uh, steel drum band recording <laughs> session. Number two... Uh, Tell us how you got your name. I like that story. That's a cool so, story. Uh, yeah, so both of their, their teachers, they had two real cool teachers. Steve Brown was the jazz teacher, and Pablo Cohen was the, the classical teacher, guitar right, teacher right. at Ithaca. And Pablo came to see Ben's recital. And uh, and we, Pablo's not of this country, right? No, he's, he's from yeah. Argentina. Right, yeah. Exactly, yeah, and beautiful. He just glows with love, and he's just <laughs> the coolest guy ever. And, and uh, so we did a couple of original bluegrass tunes at that recital with some high harmony singing, bluegrass singing, and he saw us straight after the recital, and he said, who is these guys? The Howling <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> and we were like, Pablo, you're, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Score one for Pablo then. That's yeah. really cool. And it's stuck, and, it's, and it sticks well. And it's a great, uh, uh, just a great moniker, great name for this band. They're on Ready Made Records. The new record is called, again, Howl. It is mighty fine stuff if you like old-time music, if you like dancing with your music. Yeah, but how about another tune for us, fellas? Yeah, we'll get you one here called uh, the Hermitage Hot Step here. It's uh, about the, the sweet place in the hills of Tennessee we love. Hermitage, Tennessee.
Yes, sir. The Hatler Brothers live on 90.3 The Rock WTK and on UTTV The Rock Unplugged, which you can check out every Thursday, Friday, or Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday night at 9 on Channel 194 on the Comcast Digital Package, Channel 65 on campus, UTTV's The Rock Unplugged, singing about Hermitage, Tennessee, which I believe was the home uh, for many, many years of one of my favorite and fellow East Tennessee native Jimmy Martin, That's who right. is good in country. And I love Jimmy and the Sunny Mountain Boys, one of my favorite from just up the road in Hancock County, Tennessee, right around Sneedville. And I'm from about two counties over in Greene County, and it didn't get any better than Jimmy oh, Martin. Oh, yeah, man. we can drive by his house every day we go home. I bet. See the JM on the fence. Oh, man. yeah. It's hard to beat Jimmy Martin, man. <laughs> it's great, great stuff. And, uh, like he used to call himself, good and country, and that's for sure. And this is good and country stuff here you guys are making. The Howland Brothers, who, uh, from what I understand, I think you guys have got three other records under your belt or EP, a couple records that are available now or are going to be available this year. We're going to be rolling them out here uh, uh, as how we go through the Howl cycle, and then uh, as we get out past that, we're going to start rolling out some back catalog. Very cool. And you guys made your way down to... Tennessee in the mid-state area, Nashville and Hermitage proper, I guess, in about 2005. What uh, what steered you in our direction? Um, we just, there's a few cities in my mind that always just glowed. You know, uh, New Orleans and uh, Nashville and Austin. There's just a couple cities that I, I was always just in love with. I had never been, but I was just in love with them for some reason. Yeah. And Nashville was the winner. And, and so we were supposed to sign a, a lease for our apartment we were at. And uh, the last minute, the third guy said he couldn't. And so we took it as a sign. We said, you know what? We could go make ends meet in Nashville just like we are here. So yeah. we just go ahead and we went. Well, we're glad to have you in our home state and uh, making great music down there in Nashville and taking it out and spreading it. Uh, and then you hooked up with a guy who's made a good record or two himself and has got a record label now that's supporting you and says just incredible things about you guys uh, like they're authentic and the real deal through and through. On top of that, they're the hardest working musicians I've come across. They play their instruments every waking moment and are truly possessed by music. And when a man like Brendan Benson says that, you stand up and take notice. How did you guys meet Mr. Raconteur himself, Mr. Great Solo Career, just all around good egg? How'd you meet him? Uh, so we met him uh, at our friend Buddy Jackson's house, who's a, he's an artist in Nashville. Right. And uh, he got us together and... Uh, Corey Chisel, I don't know if you know of Corey Chisel. Corey Chisel and the Wandering Sons, he mm -hmm. put out a record. He's also on Ready Made. Yep. And uh, Brendan needed some guys to kind of be the utility men of right. the session. So he hired uh, me and Jay to come in and uh, and work utility. And so we played everything from steel drum to, uh, I played trombone, which I'd, I'd only right. played for about a week. And I, yeah. I said, oh, I can play trombone. <laughs> and so uh, sure enough, I played some trombone. But uh, that's how we met him. And, and we just became really good friends. And, and he said, I want to produce your next album. And you know, we kind of thought he was kidding, of course, you know, because it's Brandon Benson. Sure. But the, sure enough, a couple months later, and bam, howl. We did howl. It's all about who you know. And it's <laughs> unbelievable, the networking you have. But especially in a town like Nashville, as we were talking off mic, it's just changed.